Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Saturday, June 22nd, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you are not yet a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run, you click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, and tell you what, you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or any other capper over at DocSports.com. Again, $60 free account, it's a trial run, DocSports.com. Here's why it might be a good idea to do that today if you've yet to sign up. We've got two seven-unit plays going on Saturday. One in baseball, one in the CFL. The CFL seven-unit play between Hamilton and Toronto available right now as we speak. As far as baseball, that seven-unit play available Saturday morning at seven at uh, 1130 a.m. Eastern, 830 a.m. Pacific time. Seven-unit baseball, seven-unit CFL. Don't miss out on this huge Saturday over at DocSports.com. All right, let's get to our thumbnail sketch. Uh, we are finishing up over today and tomorrow. Final two teams in the NFL for our thumbnail sketches. We're looking at the San Francisco 49ers on this report. Last year before the season began, there was a whole lot of a whole lot of hype, I should say, on the Niners because of Jimmy Garoppolo. He gets banged up. Season tanks. Bad season for the Niners. There's still hype on them this summer, but just not as much as it was last year before last season. Over under wins total, though, is eight. When I break down this Niner offense, they're going to be good on offense. You know, you keep Garoppolo healthy. You've got good people around him. you got Shanahan's game calling, gameplay calling. And I'll tell you what, right now, I think it's a situation where they will be able to move the ball on a consistent basis and be able to score some points. No problem on offense. As far as defense is concerned, I like D Ford up front. And I think it's going to be a formidable defensive line and a decent secondary for the San Francisco 49ers. I don't think teams will be able to go off on this team left and right like they have in some of the past years. As far as the schedule, it's going to be hard to start 2-2. Two and two. The thing is, the Niners are going to have to suffer, suffer zero key injuries and have almost a perfect run, I think, just to get to eight, nine wins. That total being eight, we think they finish with eight wins. Seven at the worst. We'll go with the Niners to finish with eight wins. That puts them smack dab right on the posted total of eight. So no play on the Niners for us, but we still like to let you know that we think they finish with eight wins. We will have a play on Sunday's report in the uh, Seattle Seahawks preview with their over-under. We'll talk about that on Sunday's report at 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. And we do have a bet on the Seahawks to tell you all about, so be sure to check out Sunday's video. All right, let's get to our free pick today. And we're looking at the battle between the Astros and the Yankees, the game in the Bronx on Saturday night. Listen, Houston's toughest offensive spot on the road is night games against right-handers. They got to go up against Tanaka in this one. He's pitched extremely well. And Houston just doesn't put up a lot of runs in this spot. It's one of their toughest spots on the season or situations. As far as the Yankees going up against Wade Miley, the Yankees barely get over four runs per game in this spot against lefties, and Wade Miley has been pitching extremely well. We think we've got two strong starting pitchers. We think the bullpens will be fine. because And, and again, both offenses struggle, in, relatively speaking, in the situation they're in on Saturday night. So our free pick is going to be under, the under between Houston and the Yankees on the Saturday night. All right, listen, if you uh, like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to uh, subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Saturday in the win column right back here Sunday morning.